Hi guys, welcome to your reading today. Now, the, I was just shuffling the cards and this card dropped out. Whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Now, for some of you, I feel that this is um, self-forgiveness for whatever reason. And for some of you, this could be forgiving someone from there's something, I can feel this energy that's been there for quite a long time and it's, it's time to go. <laughs> um, but no matter, all in, you know, divine timing and whenever you feel ready. Yeah, there's something hidden um, and it's time to balance the scales. Or it could be suppressed fears, something um, with the moon card being, um, could be something to do with uh, afraid. Spirit, um, oh gosh, this is a message that really needs to come out. Five of swords in the chariot, so... I feel like someone steamrolled over you with some really shirty energy. Can we go into the right uh, five of pentacles? So we've got five, five, and the chariot. So there might have been gossip, someone uh, or a group actually. And King of Pentacles with the Chariot. That wasn't very good. Um, sorry, I'm still working on the focus. Getting, getting used to that. So the King of Pentacles with the Chariot. Um, and the Five of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. So there's some mental conflict around limiting beliefs. Or we could have a situation where there could be, I'm actually hearing unnecessary competition. 155 on the clock. Um, so we have some swords on the ground and, and this person is like holding some of the swords, right? So it could be maybe letting go um, the way you see someone. Can we go more into the five of swords, please? Sort of viewing someone else a certain way. It could be the way you see yourself. There could be, uh, there's a lot of situations I think happening, coming from this. There could be, um, this could be talking about needing to forgive yourself, 235 on the clock for, um, so it's 55, five, this is confirmation. Um, yeah, forgiving yourself for maybe seeing yourself as not worthy or not good enough or. For someone really specific, I feel like maybe someone was offered help, but they didn't feel that they were worthy of it. And maybe they they acted really harshly towards this, the person that they, they maybe acted from that pain, that pain that's come from a very real place. And, you know, that maybe influenced your reaction and maybe hurt some feelings. Um, yeah, two of swords. So it's like you didn't see something how how it accurately was. You were blocking your heart, so you were trying to protect yourself, and so you maybe for for whatever reason didn't see the situation for how it really was. But you, and so you were acting from a place of hurt that was already there. What actually happened? What's this resentment or anger that needs to um, be addressed at the moment that's being asking to be acknowledged? What's this anger or resentment, please? Where's that come from? I feel like it's buried quite deep. Uh, something from a long time ago. I am getting this lifetime. At least can we have some... Yes, lovely. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. 4.30 on the clock, yeah. Can we get more about the Knight of Pentacles? Just clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. What's this anger or resentment that's coming up for the collective at the moment, please? Um, the Fool. Oh, yes, the Fool. Yeah,
maybe waiting to see maybe maybe you were waiting for someone to see you it's like waiting for someone to see you standing there but they were so focused on their own stuff their own they were trying to lying along and just and not even noticing you they were so busy trying to have fun that they didn't see your offer so this could be this could be um a love situation 532 on the clock so maybe someone maybe you had a you were hoping to have a relationship with someone in the past and it could be i am getting romantic vibes but it could be it could be a friend as well um I'm not getting family as much more more friend or romantic partner situation and you you maybe had more to offer them than they were ready to receive they weren't looking for the same thing can we just get one more card for for the situation the four of wands just flipped out and then back again so maybe you were hoping to have um more of a commitment with them and Maybe you saw it for a fleeting moment and then it was gone. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I am going to take that as a reverse this time. So it was a, I'm hearing it was a love offer that was never meant to be, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, but fortunately, you know, because God's rejection is God's protection or however the saying goes. If you're seeing sixes and fours lately, this is for you as well. Because I just saw, like, all the fours and sixes. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm not trying to diminish what you've been through. Because I do feel here that this is this has been... It's like a, I'm feeling this dull ache. And it was maybe quite sharp in the heart when it, actually, when it originally happened. But it's something that's been there for such a long time. It's almost like... I'm seeing like a building that's like sunk into the ground so the pain was up here and now it's like the building of this pain shall we say it's like been there for so long it's become so heavy that it's just dropping down and down and down and it's affected a few different chakras so it might have affected you in the heart area so you might have been quite protective of your heart for a bit and then it affected your confidence the longer it stayed. And then it affected your creativity and maybe the feminine aspects of you. And you became quite hardened and um, stoic, I'm hearing. And, and for some of you, it's actually reached the root chakra where it's affecting your ability to feel safe in relationships. For some of you, this situation was abusive. And I'm really sorry if that happened to you um and i say sorry not sorry because we do go through certain experiences to learn and you know but only take that message as it resonates okay i'm not trying to um you know we let's be let's be realistic here um so spirit what do you want us to address at this time i think they just want me to do some light language for you so if you're ready to release this, um, this light language will be to help you forgive yourself for being in the situation, um, forgiveness for anything or anyone in the situation. Let's just put it like that. This will also help you to release this. It will clear contracts, agreements, cords that are still attached um, to anyone from you to anyone in the in the situation in accordance with your highest good and your free will okay so whatever you're ready to receive right now or let go of Morosokoestasi and the Rasakotokoestia. And the Rokoestasi and the Rasakis Sorokindaishi Tasaya Sarakoestasi. Morosokoestasi and the Rakisayan Dorokotoeshi Kisara Tokisia Tokoesta.
Ien dara sa koi sta si en la isto xoru kuto esikia. Boi sta. Boi sta si kista sa ruto koi sta si ta kia. Ien dara sa kista ruto koi sta si en da. Boi sta kista esikito sa kia. Ien dara sa kista ruto kuto esikia ien dara sa kista. Ba ien sa ri ien dara koi sta si e. Ien dara sa kore te kisha. Boi sta si ien dara kista ruto koi sta si ien da. Aye sa di kita tu tu ni ada, baru kita yang dalam suku kita, baru esok yang dalam suku kita esok kita aye sih. Aye dalam suku kita suku kita aye sih. Aye dalam suku kita suku kita kau esok aye sih dalam suku kita. Aye sih kita dalam suku kita esok kita sari dalam suku kita suku kita kau esok. Yen dara se ko esta. Yen dara se ko esta ori ki eta ishi ki. Eta se te ki ishi eta. O ra se ki eta ishi yen dara se ko esta si yen dara. Par ye sa ari ki ndaro ki ko te ishi eta ishi ki ya. So I call on the angels of light please and the spirit guides of all those who are here now to assist for our highest good uh, moving forward whatever is needed for each individual person and for the collective so just breathe in light breathe out tension and get ready to feel space and expansion. Much love to you and all the best. And feel free to watch this light language uh, over again. Just revisit it if you feel guided to, um, because it'll uh, it'll just go through the layers of energy, um, whatever's needed. So you can return to it and keep using the same track again. Um, and just practice taking deeper breaths and just really start to get used to feeling that breath go a little deeper. It's safe to be loved. There's an encouragement here from your higher self to allow yourself in baby steps to open up more to people. It's safe to trust again or to learn to trust again. I feel like this situation for a lot of you is uh, the situation is where it's like a, a child learning to walk again or, or someone who has lost the ability to walk or forgotten the ability to walk. And now you're learning again. So it's 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 now a really beautiful time for you to step back into that and enjoy giving and receiving good vibes, loving, feel, loving, um, love from people. You, you are so deserving of that 1344. So that's the divine telling you that. That's your higher self telling you how worthy you are of receiving love. And all you have to do is accept it just a little bit at a time, whatever's comfortable for you, just until you feel, you know, you'll feel more comfortable as, as time goes by. Spirit, is there anything else that you would like these beautiful people to know? There's a message of discernment for you. This experience or these experiences, uh, for some of you, this has been a repeated, um, like there's been a pattern to this. Uh, you have increased discernment. Um, once, once the fear dissolves around accepting uh, being more accepting in relationships and more receptive uh, there's a message that your discernment has sharpened um, but it's important to keep dissolving the fear on the clock so this is a real great time of change for you 
And if you um, just start to notice uh, when you feel like, you know, retreating from a situation, just start learning to acknowledge the fear in the situation and asking yourself, just kind of be more, um, question yourself a bit more, 15, 15 on the clock. Just question, is this fear based or is this, you know, because sometimes fear can be, you know, it's just keeping us safe, right? And um, I feel like you guys were already like, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, definitely. So just start to openly question yourself uh, moving forward about whether you're leaning into more fear-based decisions or whether you know whether it's discernment you know so it's it's a time for you to explore this or that you know <laughs> um, I hope that will make sense um, but I just really hope that this slight language has helped and this reading has helped you today and I really wish you all the best um, you deserve the most loving relationships, 1607 on the clock. And that's the divine talking as well. You deserve the most re loving relationships, the ones you deserve, the relationships that give you as much love as you give to others and have given to others. Um, you deserve to be with people in relationship with people who see you as you are and not try to change you. the grief around that I feel like a lot of you have maybe felt like you've had to change to fit a certain mold a lot of the time it's been to keep yourself safe um, from threats whether physical threats or emotional safety uh, there might have been gaslighting um, yeah, people denying denying your reality maybe felt confused a lot of the time and now it's time to start learning to trust yourself again just sending energy to um whatever you need at this at this moment and just remember to breathe it's a lot of a lot of emotion there God bless you all. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.